From communication devices, laptop computers, to sensors and night vision goggles, energy is required to power all the peripheral devices that a soldier might carry or use downrange. In a digital era, providing energy to the soldier in a lightweight, efficient manner is critical to their survivability. Program Executive Office Soldiers Soldier Power is leading the way in power harvesting and distribution technology for the warfighter. The Office of Soldier Power is responsible for developing and equipping the field and soldiers with uh, those solutions for those soldiers that are operating in, in very disadvantaged environments, very austere environments. They do not have access to wall outlets or to generators. Uh, what we're responsible for is developing and fielding those lightweight solutions that are geared towards man-portable or man-wearable solutions. The Office of Soldier Power has several sets of equipment to provide energy to the warfighter. The Soldier Worn Integrated Power Equipment System, Swipes. The Conformal Battery. The Squad Power Manager. The Modular Universal Battery Charger. The Soldier Worn Integrated Power Equipment System is an integrated networked uh, power distribution system that fits on the soldier's body armor. So at the heart of it uh, is a conformal battery. The conformal battery is nested over the side plate on the, on the individual's body armor. So the power from the conformal battery is networked through the ensemble to the power distribution module that's located in the small of the back. It's fully integrated into the armor. And as you can see, there's some cables, but the cables are integrated in such a fashion so as not to interfere with the operation of the armor. This is the power distribution module. Power comes in from the side and it's routed out to four different peripherals. So al although the swipes is designed to power any set of peripherals, in this particular instance, it's providing power to the net warrior end user device and the integral uh, jitters rifleman radio. In this current configuration, it will provide 24 hours of operation. And this is the squad power manager. It's carried at the squad level and allows them to generate and create electricity as they move about the battle space in the tier one environment specifically. For example, if they were to come across a battery on the battlefield or a generator in a village, they could attach these leads and withdraw power from that uh, generator to recharge and run their radio systems. They could also come across a 2590 being carried by another organization. They could then harness the electricity from that battery and could charge their other systems. If they were to come across a coalition vehicle using this NATO slave adapter, they could draw the energy from that vehicle to recharge their batteries. All these systems here would allow them to become logistic agnostic and go without batteries and rechargeable batteries on the battlefield only. And last but not least, the 60 watt solar blanket, which would allow the squad to generate electricity from the sun, thus forever going without the need for logistic resupply on the battlefield. And what we have here is the modular universal battery charger. It combines three different types of battery chargers and allows the charger to charge up to seven different batteries. It can run off of solar panels or off of a generator. The MUBC hooked to this 120 watt solar panel can charge seven different types of batteries using just the sun in a period of three to five hours in a tier one environment. What you've seen here today are just a few examples of technologies to provide power to the warfighter. But what about testimony? Lieutenant Colonel James Smith can testify to the benefits of soldier power. His unit spent a year in Afghanistan. Last year, we, uh, we received notification we were deploying in support of uh, Combined Joint Special Operations Task Force Afghanistan to Afghanistan. It was just natural for us to request those additional capabilities that soldier power provided. We're able to take something that would be just wasted and useless to us, harvest it, put it into another battery, 
and use it for our operational needs. So it was a win-win uh, situation for everybody, our support uh, and sustainment soldiers and our operators on the ground. Take, take the Embitter, for instance. Embitter batteries are notorious for going bad quickly um, and needing rapid battery changes. Um, the fact that we've got a trickle charger in the system um, that allows the Embitter battery to stay fully charged at all times so we don't have to stop our mission in order to switch a battery so that the radio doesn't lose its fill and now we've lost comms with the rest of the, the platoon or the company. That's an ideal situation for this system. I would take three to six pounds of batteries to replace 12 to 15 pounds of batteries for a long period of time. Carry like more bullets, more water, more food, less batteries. Definitely carry more ammo um, and or different mission essential equipment dependent upon mission and where you're at. The mission of Product Director Soldier Power has been and will continue to be to develop innovative solutions for expeditionary power that will allow the warfighter to get in front of this emerging requirement for increased power appetite and allow them to sustain themselves for both short and long-term mission duration on the battlefield.